Good evening. We're here with Professor John Adamson. And what we're going to do briefly for the next four or five minutes is to give you the guidelines for submission to the Asian AFL Journal. The rules and the guidelines. Very important. Listen to this uh, video very carefully. John, welcome. Welcome to um, welcome to our studio. Can you give the audience, I mean, our authors, really the guidelines on submitting sure. to the journals? Okay, well, first of all, the Asian Apple Journal uh, at the moment runs quarterly editions. They're our standard editions. I'll just get that fly out of the way. <laughs> and, <laughs> that bit. And for the quarterly editions, we, we want people to submit their research. So we call them research articles, RAs. And actually, we don't have a strict word limit. But, you know, if you're sending us 20, 30,000 words, that's going to be too much. You know, if we reject it, you're not going to be able to resubmit that elsewhere easily. So if you send us a research article which is up to about 10,000 words, that's okay. Other journals won't like that, but it's okay with us. Another category, for example, you could send to us is um, for a non-research article or a teaching article. We call it TA. Now, they're evaluated in different ways, you know. A TA is a paper which talks about your teaching methodology, what you do in the classroom. It doesn't have to be so, you know, uh, heavy on the literature review as a research article. It doesn't have to be so heavy, let's say, with uh, data, say, as a research article. Talk about your teaching methodology, explain it clearly, and how is it applicable to other situations. The, the other category for our standard editions are book reviews, you know. It's a very good way to start publishing. And we have a separate book review editor for that. Um, they're a good way. So, you know, uh, if you've read something interesting in the applied linguistics field, then submit that to us. Um, book reviews, um, you know, we don't want them to be too long, but if you've written a page or two about it, that's fine. The teaching articles also, by the way, don't have a specific word limit, right? If you write about five, six, seven thousand words, that's fine. That's probably enough to describe your teaching context and methodology. Yeah. And is, is there anything else? That right, I might just jump back to the very beginning. When yeah. you submit online, mm. you'll get a, an immediate response saying your submission has been successful mm. and you'll receive a tracking number. And that, that goes through a process which will take a short time before it gets to the Screening stage. The screening stage. Yeah. Now, the screening stage is when I and other senior editors, other three people, we take it in turns to see if a submission is appropriate for the journal. Now, we have to be a little bit strict at that stage. You've got to write something within our journal scope about Asian EFL. Now, that can be in many different contexts, from young learners to tertiary to elderly people. Remember, teaching Asian EFL can be in other contexts of the world, teaching in an, an, in an American university, British university, or some place in the world where you're teaching Asian EFL learners. Yeah, So it's a very, very wide scope, I'd say, on that. Yeah. Hmm. What sort of time frame, it's hard to say, of course, from the minute the author submits it right. to the f first reviewer and then the next steps... Well, the first stage at screening may take a few days to a few weeks to give you that initial feedback on whether it's acceptable or not for the review process. Once it's put into the review process, we're going to tell you, you know, this will be sent out for review under the supervision of this associate editor. The associate editor works in teams of between 6 to 12 people. Now, that process, everybody wants to know how long is it going to be. Well, yeah. It's a difficult one to answer. It could be between three, four, five months at the shortest to maybe up to a year, depending on how many revisions you need to make. I'd say on average nowadays, a submission which is finally successful goes through a few rounds of review, which is a little bit different from other journals, by the way. Some journals just allow you to resubmit once and then say, oh, it's still not good enough, reject. We, we're a bit different. We tend to be more generous and say, well, it still needs some changes. Make some more revisions and resubmit. That's going to make the review process a little bit longer, of course, but it's 
a generous process which is going to help the author and, and us, because we want to publish your work, yeah, at the end of the day. So I'd say on average, for a paper which is revised and resubmitted a couple of times, say between six to eight months nowadays. Okay, but we do receive large volumes of submissions. Sometimes, without exaggeration, we can get 50 a day, and we cannot publish everybody. Some people... Some authors will be rejected. Mm. What's the process? Well, rejection is always a hard thing, isn't it? But when we do reject a paper from the Asian Effort Journal, there are other, other avenues. We, we, we've got sister journals, right? the Linguistics Journal, Asian ESP Journal, uh, and a wide range, and we're increasing that as time goes along. So we'd like to give rejected authors other avenues for publication if they want to take them. So we would say, it's not quite right for Asian EFL Journal. We recommend this paper be resubmitted to, for example, Asian ESP Journal yeah? or TESOL uh, International Journal. Um, so we'd like to give you other avenues, let's say. Yeah. Mm. Okay, John, thanks. That's You're most welcome. Good luck with your publishing. Yeah, we'd like to help you as much as we can. Cheers.